And welcome to this weekend's Behind the Mitten. John Gonzalez along with Amy Sherman having a great time as we do every single weekend. Traveling the state of Michigan, discovering new places, maybe going to some familiar places. And Amy, this weekend is no exception. That's right. We are once again on the road, traveling around the state, taking you behind the scenes of cool things that are happening that you can experience. And we're going to get to uh, experience one of our favorite areas of the state um, and explore a little bit of the Leelanau Peninsula Wine Trail. (laughs) It's a great peninsula. We love coming up to the Traverse City area and uh, checking out all the wineries and doing the tastings and, you know, just... It's it's excitement. It's it's fun. You go out there and you try different things, and I don't know what could be better. Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's a great time, and I love it because uh, you can come up. Uh, you can come up as a couple, like with your husband, if you'd like, or come up with a group of girls, um, or a couple, you know, friends, and experience all the things that they have going on here. And they make it so easy for you. You can not only uh, just stay up here, but they'll help you uh, get transportation, mm-hmm. um, plan your tours, and they have some incredible things coming up during the month of May. Well, this weekend we're broadcasting from, uh, can I say it, my favorite place? Say it. <laughs> uh, so for <laughs> MLive, <John>. Michigan's <laughs> Best. Yeah, for MLive.com, we uh, pick Black Star Farms as our pick for Michigan's Best Winery. And uh, everyone, I, yeah, you can cheer all you want, folks. It's okay. Um, I, it, to me, it was a no-brainer, hands down. And, and, it's, and I was going to say, tell me your reasons. Cause well, I, there are a lot of reasons, but I'll, I'll tell you this. The, you know you, it's a good choice when people come up to you and say, oh, my gosh, you're absolutely you're spot on, right? But it's friendly. There's food options. You can stay here. The wine is fantastic. <laughs> uh, and they have probably the best tasting room manager I've ever known, Chris Lopez, who will be on the show a little later. <laughs> he this will be. He's going to help us pick wine, wine of, of the, the week. week. Yes. <laughs> He'll be on the show. Um, but joining us right now, we have a couple people that know a little bit about this place, Amy. They do, and we were just laughing because one of our next guests, uh, Lee Lutz, who is the head winemaker here at Black Star Farms, was uh, giving the shout of, remember, John, it's about the wine. It's about the wine, <laughs> yes. All these other things play a part, but yes, it's about the wine. It is about the wine. And of course, uh, one of our favorite guests, the wine goddess herself, uh, who is in charge of the Lena Peninsula Wine Trail, Lori Hathaway. Thanks for joining us Hi, again. thanks for having me. Again. Good, to, good to see you again. You like well. Just yesterday, we were I know, right? bumped into you uh, in this area. So It was not that long ago. Not that long ago. No wine was involved. Though. Uh, no, it should have been. <laughs> right, it wasn't, which was kind of weird, right? It's different for me. It was right. like, wait, what? <laughs> but Lee here at Black Star Farms, I mean, you guys are doing an incredible job. Um, how, how to best overall describe what you guys do? What do you think? John, I, I appreciate uh, your enthusiasm for what we do. And, and I think what's, you know, it, it, I think any, any place that's running an operation like this uh, will tell you something similar. But it's the connection of a lot of little details that make the difference, and we spend a lot of time focusing on those little details, um, be it front of house, back of house, you know, commitments to quality first on kind of all fronts. And um, it it's not 100% all the time, but we strive to really hit it most of the time. And when it comes to the wines, you know, it's a, it's a commitment from our growers that are partners in the winery. Um, to producing fruit that's going to allow us to make the best wines possible. You know, we deal with a lot of uh, climactic variation up here, being in northern Michigan, yeah. this far north, uh, this close to Canada. You know, it's it's there aren't many wine regions that uh, that experience that or tout that. But it's just it's a combination of so many things. And I think part of what what we love so much about this place is the fact that it is it doesn't look like a typical working farm. But it's a farming operation where you can come and spend an awful lot of time and wander and eat and taste and stay. And there aren't many opportunities like that around the state where, you know, if if we're only four miles or four hours north of of Detroit, two hours north of Grand Rapids, if you want to escape, uh, you know, your day to day during the week, you can be up here in a very short period of time and you can actually stay here and just completely indulge. So it, this is a call out to all hedonists <laughs> that if you need a weekend getaway, <laughs> have an road. unhealthy love of food and wine. Yes. <laughs> I'd say very healthy. Very healthy. Very, very healthy. healthy. <laughs> now, uh, the wine goddess, you, yes. you know a little bit about this Leland Peninsula and uh, Lee's right though. This, this region is just 
unbelievable when it comes to you know growing growing the grapes mm-hmm. and um, the, the the vines are maturing now yeah. more than ever yep. right yep. Uh, and this area is just going to get better and better yeah and you know it's just it's it's uh you know I was I grew up here and uh, of course didn't realize what we had so I came back eventually but uh <laughs> it's such a beautiful place we have four seasons of awesome outdoor activities um that go along with the great wine and food that's up here so there's just uh there's so many reasons to come up here and hang I love that. Well, it is a beautiful setting. How many acres do you have here at Black Star Farms? We actually have 160 acres here, mm-hmm. uh, but that really only encompasses this home property. Um, we have, in total, we're farming about 175 acres uh, off this property. So most of our grapes are actually grown elsewhere between the two peninsulas. Uh, you know, we're one of the unique wineries up here that is straddling both peninsulas, Leland and Old Mission. Uh, so it's, you know, it's a commitment on multiple fronts. And mm-hmm. t- to John's point, the age of the vines is certainly part of it. But the fact that we've got uh, vineyards that are becoming uh, not only mature in the varieties that are being grown or that are being grown on those sites, but in the winemakers that are working with those sites. In, in this case, I've been here for 20 years. I've been in the area for 25 years. You get to know vineyard sites. You get to know fruit sources in much the same way you get to know your best friends and the people that are closest to you. And you get to a point where you know exactly what to expect as those things are, are coming at you during the harvest time. Yeah. And that really makes a difference. And this region celebrates that an awful lot. We don't have winemakers coming and going up here. We have people that have stayed, are committed to what they're doing, and have stuck with it over a period of time. And it, it really shows in those wines. Well, we had a lot of fun, Amy, when we came up here, what was it last spring? That we camped into the two years ago? Two springs ago, I think. We did the, yeah. uh, the, uh, kind of the tour of Michigan distilleries, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was last year. Last year. <laughs> and uh, we got to hang out with Lee. We did. And learn a lot about it. I mean, you guys were doing... Because it's you, not just wine here at Black Star Farms. Nope, not just wine. We're uh, brandy distillers as well. And that's one of those things that's a, a little bit of a, um, you know, it's kind of in the forefront on a lot of people's... Um, uh, mindset these days, just in terms of, of spirits and craft spirits, but not an awful lot of people doing fruit brandies Mm -hmm. and, and fruit spirits. And these are more old school, uh, European or old world style European, uh, brandies that you kind of sip as a, as an after dinner. But that said, um, we've got a, uh, a culinary team here that loves to work with these things from the standpoint of sauce additions, um, you know, just for deglazing a pan, uh, little additions to things like a fruit salad or to, you know, to a, uh, just to add a dash of flavor to, to something they might be putting together. So there's an awful lot of culinary. Um, and we will talk about that a little bit well. later in the show. If you yeah. guys stay tuned, we're going to talk to uh, the chef here at Black Star Farms about some of the things they have going on. So we'll talk about that. But I will say the spirits were really, they were very unique to the state of Michigan. And the spirit industry is really at the beginning of its growth, it uh, different from, from wines. But let's talk quickly about the, the wines here at Black Star Farms, because I think that in Michigan, we still have a lot of education um, to do with people to, uh, to truly appreciate um, what's going on uh, in the wines that we're making here. Can I speak to that first, Lori? <laughs> Do it, Lee. You can talk about your wines, Lee. Uh, she, can, she can drink some of the wine, too, yes. while we're waiting. Well, we have a rosé in front of us, so you know maybe we ought to start there. Sure, because we're coming that, into yeah. rosé season, although, as Amy said, it's always rosé season, and it I'm, always I'm is, completely Lee. in agreement. Um, but I think, I think unfortunately, uh, because of our location, uh, in part because the wine industry here in Michigan st- started so long ago, and I'm old enough that I remember one of the more famous products that began, you know, 40 or 50 years ago as cold duck. <laughs> uh, fortunately, cold duck went wow. away, I don't know, 40 years ago, yeah. probably shortly after its I haven't heard that in a long inception. time. I know. Yeah, do you know Michigan <laughs> um, was the first in the country to um, battle cold duck? Yes. So yes, down, yes, yes. down in the early... Maybe you should bring that back, Lee. So. Uh, no, <laughs> right? no, 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 no. <laughs> bring the, it back. The, the, the cold duck has been shot and buried and is, <laughs> is, is good to be gone. But um, No, I think, I think what it is is that in, in a state like this, in a, in a region like the northwest of Michigan, the white wines are very fresh. They're very vibrant. We've got a great acid backbone behind a lot of these white wines that give the wine life and longevity. And in the reds, there's a freshness to the fruit profile that you don't get in a lot of other really warm climates in terms of, uh, you know, the presence on the palate, but also 
the aromatic lift that you get from that fresh fruit profile. Um, but these are, these are medium bodied red wines. These are not weighty red wines that Mm -hmm. can dominate the table. And so these are whites and reds wines that pair beautifully with food. And if nothing else, that's the kind of thing that we want to be celebrating. I love it. Well, we're going to talk a little bit more about how to pair uh, wine and food together, especially here at Black Star Farms coming up in the next segment. Lee Lutz, thank you so much for joining us on Behind the Mint. Where can people get more information about Black Star Farms? Well, the best place to uh, find as much information as you need really is at our website at blackstarfarms.com. I love it. Um, nice and easy, ladies. Easy. That's perfect. Wine Goddess, Most where definitely. can people get more information about the Lee and the Peninsula Wine Trail? <laughs> LPWines.com. So easy. We're going to talk a little, little bit more about food here at Black Star Farms coming up next. And then later on, we're going to do Wine, wine of, of the, the week. week. So stay tuned to Behind the Men. Hi, this is Lori Hathaway with the Leland Isle Peninsula Wine Trail, and you're listening to Behind the Mitten. And welcome back to Behind the Mitten. John Gonzalez along with Amy Sherman having a great time here on the Legal and All Peninsula, Peninsula Wine, Wine Trail. Trail. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Uh, we are having a good time and we're at Black Star Farms today. Our pick for Michigan's best winery and I hate to be biased, Amy, but this is a tremendous place and I think you're realizing the same thing too. I am. It's it's so beautiful here. Well, I mean the setting you just can't beat it when you're up on Leelanau. I mean it's exactly. gorgeous anyways but yep. the facility here is it's beautiful. They have so many things going on and the great thing I, which I truly love is that you can stay here <laughs> so you can indulge yes. and not worry about it. <laughs> no, not worry at all and again thanks to Lee Lutz and the Wine Goddess for coming by. I think the Wine Goddess will be on a little later in the show right? She is. She's going to come back and talk to us about uh, some things that are happening in May for T see Uncorked, which is a pretty nice. great time to come visit Traverse City. But Lee, Lee is a lot of fun. I mean, he's people know him, and people in the wine industry and the spirits industry, I mean, Lee is a, is a rock star, you know. He looks and, like one. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. He's well-respected, and uh, it's great to have him here at Black Star, and, and where he's been for so many years. Uh, but right now, we have a couple other guests on the show. Yeah, we have some other friends from Black Star who are here. We've got Sherry Campbell-Fenton, who's the Communications and uh, Public Affairs Director here at Black Star. So Hello. welcome, Sherry. Thank and you. And Chef Jack Wentz, who is the head chef here at Black Star, and who has brought out some pretty incredible looking sandwiches for us to try, right, chef? Yeah, I have. Thank you very much. Thanks. How long have you been the chef here? Uh, I'm, I'm the newest kid on the block. I, I just started this uh, this fall, and um, I'm so excited to get going here. We're, you know, the same thing that makes wine and grapes great makes the food of this region uh, exceptionally well too. There's a lot of small farms. There's a lot of locally grown produce here. So, um, for a chef to be in this region, I'm, I'm very excited for the snow to go away. <laughs> and, we all are. Uh, the <laughs> mushrooms to pop and the blossoms to hit, and, and then we can start really working with our local agriculture again. Sh- chef, are you from this area? I originally I, I grew up in this area, yes, okay. and I've been gone for a while, um, off on a culinary tour of the of the uh, country and yeah. a couple of different uh, places, and then uh, I've, I've resettled back here in my home. That's that's amazing. Well, it's a good place to, to resettle. What what drew you to Black Star? Why did you want to come to Black Star Farms? You know, once I started doing some research about what they're all about and, and the the integrity that this place has, it, it certainly was a, a place I wanted to work. And I literally just started drafting letters um, to Black Star, um, kind of introducing myself and uh, trying to trying to find a position for campaigning I did campaigning I campaigned, I, campaigned I love this for almost a year actually um, he he hounded me I would say yes, <laughs> really yes. And the rest is history as they say well but, Sherry why did you want to hire a chef oh that is very easy so as he as he mentioned that he has had gone on a uh, a number of years of a culinary tour what he was working on was developing his his uh his profile he's been working on large scale events and lovely high-end yacht clubs to uh, high-end retreat spaces. And we just felt that with everything that we have going on here at Black Star Farms, it was a wonderful combination because we are hopping in the summer and the fall with multiple events, weddings, corporate dinners, uh, special birthday celebrations, and our own cafe that we have on property, as well as all the wine trail events. So there's a lot going on and a lot to juggle, and he brought the expertise that we were looking for. Well, I know we want to talk more about the food here in a second, but real quick though, Sherry, uh, I know that you guys were extremely busy this winter uh, doing a lot of different events. It seems like you're always you know, busy with something. Well, you know, why not be? Because we have this fantastic culinary team. Chef Jack Wentz has joined Chef Lance Griffiths. And wine and food 
that's what we're all about. Yeah. So like Amy mentioned, you know, you can have wine and food and then crash out here at the lovely inn and, <laughs> and not worry about hopping in a car. Um, so we've been doing some really fun things. We've been doing Friday night dinners at the inn. We had our inaugural Easter brunch. We're going to have our inaugural Mother's Day brunch um, coming up. So we're just really looking forward to continuing to highlight and celebrate wine and food of the region. I love that. Well, lots of new things. You're always changing and growing. So tell us a little bit about uh, what we can expect if we come up to Black Star Farms um, and we're going to eat. In addition to this, you got to tell us what the sandwich is that I'm staring at because it looks fantastic. Uh, the sandwich is, is one of our new sandwiches on the menu downstairs, and we actually have a hearth oven downstairs. Uh, we, co- we cook with hardwoods. 